Chapter 206, Thunder Crystal Beast Lin Dong stood at the top of a mountain covered by a strange stone forest, as his gaze alternated between two places in a distance. Within these two general directions, were a great number of presences. I did not expect that the Daeang province's factions would be so strong. Although I do not know what kind of status the Di and Lu families possess, the strength possessed by these two factions far surpasses that of Yan City's factions, as Lin Dong gazed towards the two directions, his eyebrows slightly furrowed. The power of either one of these two families far surpassed the so-called Blood Wolf Gang, such that even the Yan City governor faction was not that much stronger too. Over these two days, Lin Dong had closely tailed the Di family troops. With the aid of his powerful mental energy, he had managed to avoid detection by Di Teng. Along the way, Lin Dong was also shocked to discover just how powerful these two families were. This caused him to gasp in surprise, as this kind of lineup was extremely rare in Yan City. The Lu family also has an initial form creation stage practitioner. Together with several perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners, there is not much of a difference between them and the Di family. If these two parties were to fight with each other, it would definitely become chaotic and that shall be my chance. Lin Dong mumbled to himself. If one of these two families was too domineering, he would not be able to take advantage of them. That so-called thunder crystal beast should be in that mountain, Lin Dong's eyes turned towards the spot in front of both groups. A steep mountain stood there as a faint silver glow bathed the mountaintop. One glance was all Lin Dong took to realize that the silver glow was actually some kind of circulating lightning. Over this period of time, he had absorbed quite a substantial amount of lightning power, and hence he was exceptionally sensitive towards it. Furthermore, from within the mountain, Lin Dong could also sense an aura that was as violent as lightning itself. This aura caused all the hair on his body to stand on its ends. If he was not mistaken, that was the current target of the Di and Lu families, the Thunder Crystal Beast. This Thunder Crystal Beast's strength should be at advanced Qi creation stage. From the looks of it, its aura seems extremely unstable and it should be about to advance one cultivation stage. If it successfully advances, it would be comparable to a manifestation stage practitioner. At that time, practically no one in the Great Yan Empire would be able to match it. Little Martin's gaze swept around as it smiled and said. Fortunately, each time it rank up, there will be a period of time where it becomes vulnerable. That is the best time to make a move. Of course, if that was not the case, the Di and Lu families would definitely not dare to make a move on it. After all, even a Qi creation stage thunder crystal beast is not something to be trifled with. Lin Dong nodded his head and asked. When will that thunder crystal beast rank up? In less than two days' time. Ha, two days? Upon hearing this, Lin Dong softly chuckled. Soon after, he sat down beside a boulder and casually retrieved a piece of dry meat from his kyunkin bag and tossed it to Little Flame. Since this was so, he would wait. In an area northwest of Lin Dong, a campsite was set up. Quite a number of people shuttled back and forth within it and from time to time, scouts appeared from the forest and scuttled into the huge tent in the middle. There were about a dozen figures in this tent and each of them gave off a formidable aura, especially the man in the center. The man's face was red and he had a white beard. Though his face seemed somewhat aged, a formidable glint shimmered in his eyes and no one dared to stare at him directly. Family head, the Di family has also brought activated quite a number of troops this time and even Di Teng has personally come. Looks like the Thunder Crystal Beast is a must-have for them. Within the tent, one of the scouts respectfully reported. Upon hearing this, the white-bearded elderly man nodded his head in an indifferent manner, not surprised at all by this news. His gaze swept across the tent as he said, Relay these instructions, wipe out all the demonic beasts in the vicinity of the Thunder Origin Mountain. If you encounter anyone, no matter who he is, expel him immediately. If he does not obey, kill him. In addition, make sure to have eyes on the Di family at all times. The Thunder Crystal Beast should advance within these two days. At that time, 
we must immediately take action. The elderly man's words were filled of murderous intent and did not contain the slightest bit of hesitation. Evidently, a vicious and merciless family head. Yes. Upon hearing his instructions, the numerous practitioners in the tent did not dare to be the least bit slow as they orderly replied. Deteng, Humph. It is will not be so easy for you to snatch the thunder source from my Lu family. After seeing their response, the white-bearded elderly man icily chuckled. While these matters were occurring at the Lu family's side, scouts also frequently moved about at the Di family area. From the looks of it, their intention was similar to the Lu family. It seemed like an intense exchange would definitely break out between the two powerful factions of Daeang province this time. In the meantime, Lin Dong happily observed the two parties while hidden in a secret place. The fiercer the fight between the two, the greater his chances. Two days' time passed in a blink of an eye. In this short period of time, several conflicts had already occurred in this area. Naturally, the two culprits were the Di and Lu family. Though it were only small-scale conflicts, they did suffer some casualties as well. At the same time, this caused the atmosphere between them to turn increasingly tense. If it were not for the fact that the Thunder Crystal Beast was about to rank up, both parties would have likely fought already. And in this two days' time, Lin Dong had remained at his original spot. Furthermore, he had intentionally cut back on his cultivation period in order to create as little waves as possible, in case the Di or Xie family uncovered his presence. As he quietly waited in hold, that critical moment eventually arrived stealthily. Grumble Lin Dong stared at the layers of storm clouds that suddenly emerged in the sky, as a bewildered expression filled his eyes. He could sense that this storm actually stared from that mountain top. That implies that the Thunder Crystal Beast could actually cause a storm. It was truly a magical beast. It is about to rank up, seated on Lin Dong's shoulders, little Martin stared at the storm clouds surrounding the mountain peak, as it somewhat eagerly commented. Instantly, Lin Dong's eyes turned slightly feverish. As he looked towards the horizons, several presents at that area had immediately exploded as numerous figures leapt on top of the woodlands. As they bided their time, they looked somewhat eagerly at the storm clouds gathering in the sky. Standing in front of both factions, were two figures. One of them was Diteng, that Lin Dong had already encountered. Meanwhile, the other figure was an elderly man with a white beard. That man was likely the patriarch of the Lu family and based on his aura, he was evidently an initial creation stage elite practitioner. The Di family has an initial creation stage practitioner as well as six perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners. Their lineup is similar to the Lu family, Lin Dong's eyes swept across the woodland before he involuntarily swallowed his tongue. Even if he counted every perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner in Yan City, they would still lose out to the Di family. It seems like this Yan city's strength is hardly worth mentioning in the context of this entire great Yan dynasty. Boom! As Lin Dong closely observed the movements occurring below him, the storm clouds in the sky began to rumble violently. Large lightning snakes began to course through maniacally, as they brought forth earth-shattering thunder roars. Lin Dong stared somewhat greedily at those lightning snakes. However, this time, he did not dare to blatantly draw these lightning bolts. After all, just a short distance away, there was the Di and Lu family. Growl. As the storm clouds began to rumble increasingly violently, suddenly, within that giant mountain, an exceptionally clear roar echoed forth. This echo was quite peculiar as it seemed just like thunder as well as a lion's roar mixed together. Together with the thunderous roars, it began to spread forth. When they heard this roar, everyone's eyes started to gleam, as they tightly gripped onto the weapons in their heads. After that first roar, a series of roars continuously echoed forth. Each time a roar sounded out, the storm clouds in the sky will vibrate even more vigorously. It was as if someone was being brewed. As lightning filled the skies, from time to time, giant thunderbolts descended from the sky and landed into the vast woodlands causing black smoke to emerge. Boom! Another lightning bolt flew down. 
However, this time, it directly struck that mountain peak. Soon after, the mountain peak began to vibrate as an resplendent silver glow exploded forth from the mountain, just like a glowing light column, before it directly hit the storm clouds in the sky. Lin Dong's eyes twinkled as he stared directly at that light column. Faintly, an enormous demonic beast surfaced in his vision. That enormous beast was gleaming in silver throughout its body, as electrical consciously coursed through its body. As electrical sparks exploded from time to time, it generated a powerful energy shockwave. Moreover, the skin of this enormous giant beast was no ordinary fur coat. Rather, it seemed like a crystal armor. It was truly a peculiar sight. That crystal beast stepped onto that light column. Its four hooves was just like a mountain as they seemed exceedingly sturdy and heavy. With thunderous wings on its back, a resplendent lightning glow shimmered in its mouth. It seemed like every time it opened its mouth, it could easily shoot out an exceedingly powerful lighting beam. Amongst every demonic beast that Lin Dong had encountered before, its appearance and aura was simply most terrifying and powerful. Just based on its appearance alone, everyone knew that this demonic beast was a truly unique one. Thunder Crystal Beast As they stared at that fearsome beast inside that light column, a flurry expression instantly exploded in Ditang and the rest's eyes. After all, this was the first time that they saw such a legendary creature. Is this the so-called legendary Thunder Crystal Beast? It is indeed different from any ordinary demonic beast, Lin Dong was similarly taken aback by that creature's extraordinary appearance, as he deeply sucked in a breath of air and exclaimed in shock. In the past, I've encountered a thunder crystal beast which was countless times more powerful. Ha <laughs> ha! That is the one that could truly be called formidable. Before it, even a Nirvana stage practitioner was merely a snack, little Martin smacked its lips and chuckled. Lin Dong was speechless. The Nirvana practitioner, which was practically a legend in the Great Yan Empire, became akin to a wild chicken that was to be eaten whenever one pleased when little Martin talked about it. Boom! While Lin Dong was speechless, the violently surging thunder clouds in the sky suddenly shrunk, as an enormous thunderbolt ruthlessly poured down onto the thunder crystal beast's huge body. Is it about to advance in rank? Upon witnessing this scene, Lin Dong's heart immediately turned nervous. Chapter 207, Forcefully Snatching the Thunder Source Boom! Like an angry dragon, a huge thunderbolt poured down from the thunder clouds, and ferociously bombarded the thunder crystal beast's body. Immediately, a loud and frightening sound rang out in the horizon. Roar! In the face of such a terrifying attack, the thunder crystal beast instantly let loose a painful roar. Lightning frantically rushed around its body, while violently tunneling in. Though this caused immense pain for the beast, it also extremely rapidly strengthened its body. If the thunder crystal beast was able to successfully endure this, its strength would naturally soar. However, if it failed to do so, even though it was a lightning eater, its body would still be torn to pieces by such a powerful thunderbolt. A resplendent glow erupted in the sky, lighting up everything in a hundred mile radius. Many demonic beasts trembled at the might of this thunder and only a few of the stronger demonic beasts were able to withstand the fear of thunder, which resonated in their bones. In the woodlands, the Di and Lu family practitioners nervously stared at the mountaintop. If the thunder crystal beast failed to rank up, it would be torn to pieces by the lightning and it was likely that even the thunder source would subsequently crumble to bits. At that time, their trip would have become completely pointless an outcome that they did not wish to see. Boom boom boom. After the first thunderbolt descended, a series of massive thunderbolts subsequently fell from the skies, before they very accurately struck the thunder crystal beast's massive body, causing a dazzling lightning glow to explode forth. That thunder crystal beast seems to have some difficulty enduring, Lin Dong's eyebrows slightly furrowed as he gazed at the thunder crystal beast which was constantly roaring in pain as it was being struck by the thunderbolts. Ha, this kind of thunderbolts cannot be compared to the ones you have absorbed. Go ahead and try, I guarantee that you will be unable to withstand even a single one. Little Martin's lips curled as it said. Just wait, 
regardless of whether one is human or demonic beast, advancing in cultivation level is no easy matter. Lin Dong lightly nodded his head and suppressed the urgent feeling in his heart. As he watched the thunder crystal beast roar within the thunder, he quietly waited for the final outcome. Thunder echoed across the vast forests, as enormous thunderbolts streaked across the skies from time to time. In the face of nature, every living thing appeared exceptionally tiny. Even the troops from the Di and Lu families maintained their silence during this period, as they were afraid that if they caused too much disturbances, they would draw the thunder from the heavens. At the very front of both parties, stood Di Teng and the Lu family patriarch respectively with their hands behind their backs. Their excited gazes unwaveringly stared at the thunder crystal beast, as it frantically struggled within the thunder. Both of their bodies were slightly leaned forward, clearly indicating that they planned to take immediate action once something occurred. Under the attentive gazes of the two parties and that one hidden person, the devastating thunder clouds in the sky finally showed signs of weakening. However, at the same time, the glow of the thunder crystal beast in midair dimmed. Evidently, it had suffered extremely severe injuries. Roar. However, although it was already severely injured, that demonic beast still held a certain majestic aura as it lifted its head and unleashed a thunderous roar at the thunder clouds. Rumble. As if it had been stirred up by the roar, the thunder clouds in the sky violently surged. A vortex appeared within the clouds, creating a hole at its center. Within this hole, lightning flickered terrifyingly. Boom. Moments after the hole formed, a thunderbolt that was the size of a man ripped through the skies. Under Lin Dong's, De Teng's, and the rest's shocked gazes, it poured down and ruthlessly smashed onto the thunder crystal beast's tremendous body. Boom. The thunderbolt directly struck the thunder crystal beast, shooting it down from the sky, as it heavily landed onto the forests. Trees which were a thousand meters tall were destroyed by the aftershocks in a flash, and even the land started to tremble. Such a frightening thunderbolt. As he stared at the extensive destruction, Lin Dong could not help but swallow his saliva. This thunderbolt was likely strong enough to turn an advanced qi creation stage practitioner to dust. I wonder what happened to that thunder crystal beast, this thought flashed across Lin Dong's mind as his eyes hastily shifted towards the place where the thunder crystal beast had landed. Black smoke rose into the air, as a huge hole appeared before his eyes. It couldn't have been smashed to death right. As he stared at the huge hole, Lin Dong's eyebrows furrowed. However, just as he mumbled these words, a weak and pained roar once again sounded out, but the roar this time clearly did not contain the force it had before. Under the delighted gazes of the everyone, a silver light slowly rose up from the huge hole, floating in the sky as it looked up and released an unyielding roar at the thunder clouds. In response to the thunder crystal beast's resistance, the thunder clouds finally showed signs of dispersing, as layer after layer swiftly retreated. Currently, the body of the thunder crystal beast was extremely dim. Cracks had appeared on the crystal-like armor on its body, but if one took a closer look, one would find that there seemed to be an even brighter layer of crystal armor quietly growing within the cracks. When this crystal armor successfully grew out, the thunder crystal beast's strength would once again swell ferociously. It could be said that the thunder crystal beast's advancement this time had succeeded. The advancement has succeeded. Lin Dong gazed at the thunder crystal beast in the air, as he gently licked his lips. He was able to sense that the latter was now at its weakest, and it was very clear, that the Di and Lu families were about to take action. As these thoughts began to surface in Lin Dong's mind, in a distance, Di Teng's gaze suddenly flashed, as a stern shout sounded out in a flash, set up the formation. Yes. The Di family troops were clearly prepared. Hence, when De Teng's voice sounded out, the numerous troops spread out into a formation. Yuan power gushed forth, as Yuan power ropes shot out, swiftly tangling in midair as they swept across the skies. In an instant, they had bounded the thunder crystal beast. Swish! While the Di family made their move, over at the Lu family side, an earth-shattering Yuan power string also shot out. In a flash, 
it also securely tied up the Thunder Crystal Beast. Roar These sudden attacks caused the Thunder Crystal Beast to roar in anger. Its huge silver eyes looked down upon the human culprits, as its body violently struggled. Resplendent lightning burst out from its body and directly snapped these bindings. Clang! The instant the Thunder Crystal Beast struggled free of most of the bindings, a figure suddenly swept forth from the sky. A large knife with a long handle covered in extremely powerful Yuan power ferociously chopped onto its body. The strong force caused more cracks to form on the crystal armor covering its body. Roar! After suffering this powerful attack, red flitted across the Thunder Crystal Beast's eyes, as it opened its mouth and shot a thunderbolt towards the figure. TCH. Upon seeing the thunderbolt rush forth, the large knife with a long handle coated in powerful Yuan power once again hacked downwards, and withstood the attack. Wrapped in Yuan power, it fiercely attacked again. He <laughs> he, my old pal Ditang, since you look to be in such difficulty by yourself, let this old man lend you a hand. Just as the light from the formidable attack covered the thunder crystal beast, Laughter once again sounded across the skies. Soon after, another blade ruthlessly attacked. Like a tidal wave, a continuous stream of attacks were directed towards the Thunder Crystal Beast. However, while he attacked it, some blade shadows were also stealthily directed towards Ditang. Humph, Lu Kui you old ghost, are you finally unable to resist? Ditang sneered. His fingers flicked breaking apart the blade flashes that stealthily swept towards him, as a murderous light flitted across his eyes. Haha, <laughs> my Lu family is naturally interested in a treasure like the Thunder Source. How can we miss this once in a blue moon chance? Did you think that only your Di family is able to obtain this information? The name of the white-bearded elderly man turned out to be Lu Kui. Though the two of them continuously mocked each other, the blades in their hands were ruthless attacking the Thunder Crystal Beast until it was battered and exhausted. If it was originally at its full power, it would not be difficult to for the Thunder Crystal Beast to kill the Ditang duo. However, the situation now was different. The Thunder Crystal Beast had already spent most of its power to withstand the Thunderbolts. In its current state, it was unable to resist the two form creation stage practitioners. Roar Roar! A thunderous and angry roar constantly rang out across the skies, as more and more cracks formed on its body. On a distant mountain peak, Lin Dong attentively observed the situation. The ancient heavenly scales halberd had already once again appeared in his hands. Great Sun Thunder Yuan slowly surged in his body, ready to unleash its formidable power at any time. In the air, Two figures seemed to be surrounded in a whirlwind of blades as they mercilessly clashed against the Thunder Crystal Beast, while powerful Yuan power waves erupted. This beast is truly difficult to deal with. While being tangled in the fight, the Ditang duo were extremely shocked. They did not expect that they would be unable to swiftly dispatch this extremely weak Thunder Crystal Beast, even with their combined efforts. They truly did not dare to imagine how terrifying the beast would be if allowed to recover its strength. Let's finish this quickly. Although they found each other an eyesore, both individuals had the same idea in mind at this time. A fierce look flitted across their eyes, as two blades, filled with ferocious Yuan power, swiftly hacked at one of the cracks on the Thunder Crystal Beast's body. Immediately, the armor broke apart, as silver blood flowed out from the crack. Roar! After suffering such a heavy blow, the Thunder Crystal Beast's eyes turned completely red. It madly roared out, and opened its huge mouth as a resplendent head-sized ball of lightning swept forth from within. In the distance, Lin Dong's pupils abruptly shrunk when the resplendent ball of lightning appeared. He could sense an extremely powerful and pure lightning power from it. Thunder Source Upon hearing Little Martin's cry, Lin Dong lifted the ancient heavenly scales halberd, as a feverish look flickered in his eyes. Chapter 208, Battling Against the Form Creation Stage Thunder Source As the resplendent lightning ball emerged from the thunder crystal beast's mouth, a greedy expression suddenly appeared in Ditang's and Lu Kui's eyes. Yuan power gushed forth, 
directly transforming into two 3 meters wide Yuan power palms which immediately grabbed at the thunder source. Boom! Even though the thunder crystal beast was a demonic beast, it was not a complete fool. Hence, it naturally would not summon its thunder source only to give it away. Hence, when they two of them tried to snatch it over, that thunder source suddenly vibrated vigorously. Immediately, a disc-like lightning shockwave emerged from the epicenter. Bang bang! Due to that lightning shockwave, Ditang and Lu Kui's Yuan power palm was instantly disseminated. Meanwhile, both of their facial expressions began to change rapidly. However, before they could retreat, that shockwave had already hit them. Buzz buzz! When they were hit by that vicious blow, both of their faces turned pale, before they were blown away as they spat out a mouthful of blood. Buzz! Though they were viciously blown away, that Detang duo were cunning individuals. While they were being blown back, two Yuan power palm exploded forth. However this time, they directly slammed onto that thunder crystal beast's body. Boom! A giant sound echoed out, as a huge port of the crystal armor on the thunder crystal beast was shattered into pieces before silver blood gushed forth slash. That originally chaotic midair began empty in an instance. Only that lightning mist was still hovering in midair as it released an exceptionally radiant glow and a mighty lightning power. Snatch the thunder source. Diff family and Lu family's troops were all intensely watching the battle happening in midair. When they saw this sight, shouts instantly exploded forth, as elite practitioners from both sides instantly made their move. Jerking their hands forwards, a series of Yuan power ropes were directed towards that thunder source. Buzz. However, just as those Yuan power ropes bounded that thunder source, suddenly a formidable halberd shadow appeared. With a swing, it immediately shattered the ropes. Then, as he stretched his hand forth, under the enraged stares from the crowd, he grabbed onto that thunder source. Do you court death? This sudden change caused everyone to be taken aback. Immediately, an enraged roar sounded out. Haha, de ten brother, I will take the thunder source first. Please hold back the Lu family troops. I will be waiting for you at the usual spot. That man who suddenly intervened, was naturally Lin Dong, who had been hiding in the shadows. Now that he had obtained that thunder source, delight filled his heart, causing him to laugh heartily as he swiftly retreated. Lin Dong's laughter came suddenly, however it caused the formation in the field to freeze up. Those Di family troops were all perplexed as they evidently did not know when Di Teng had made a deal with him. Di Teng, you actually found an accomplice. That Lu Kui's facial expression changed drastically. With a loud roar, using the giant saber in his hand, a formidable blade shadow was viciously directed towards Di Teng, who was standing nearby. Clang! As he faced Lu Kui's sudden attack, that Di Teng hurriedly countered. Then, with a steely expression, he shouted, Old man, use your brain. That kid is obviously tricking us as he fled once he got the thunder source. Let's stop him. At first, De Teng's brain was some short-circuited for a while. Thankfully, his reflexes were quick, as he swiftly deduced that Lin Dong's comment was obviously meant to stall them. When he heard these words, Lu Kui was shocked. Swiftly turning around, he realized that Lin Dong had already quickly fled after he grabbed that thunder source. Instantly, he realized that he had been tricked as he angrily swore, that cunning bastard. Grab that kid. Lu Kui and Di Teng's enraged roar almost simultaneously sounded out. Then, Di Teng's troops finally understood that they had been tricked, and they were all instantly furious. However, just as they recovered their senses, Lin Dong had already created some distance between them. Just as he planned to scoot off, the thunder source in his hand suddenly began to vibrate violently, as it seemed about to escape. Snort! When he detected this sight, Lin Dong's eyes turned cold. As he jerked the ancient halberd in his hand, a formidable halberd shadow exploded forth and viciously struck that thunder crystal beast, that was attempting to recall its thunder source. Bang! 
When that halberd shadow exploded on that thunder crystal beast's body, it directly blew the latter back. Then, the thunder crystal beast finally released a series of disgruntled roars, as its blood-red animal eyes started hideously at Lin Dong before it fled away. Right now, it understood that it was impossible to snatch back its thunder source today. After blowing away that thunder crystal beast in one move, Lin Dong finally heaved a sigh of relief. Just as he planned to escape, in mid-air, a Yuan power palm suddenly materialized before it viciously attacked him. Buzz! Lin Dong's eyebrows furrowed. With he waved his ancient halberd, it formed several cold flashes before they directly shattered that Yuan power palm. Kid, I have been kind to you. However, you still dare to plot against my Di family. Today, if I do not rip you to shred, I cannot appease the anger in my heart. When Lin Dong shattered that Yuan power palm, a malicious roar echoed from behind. Then, Di Teng's figure swiftly head over with a malicious glint in his eyes. Ha, this kid is truly cunning. We nearly let him escape. Behind Lin Dong, that Lu Kui swiftly hurried over as he chuckled. When he saw that he could not easily escape, Lin Dong's eyebrows furrowed. With a calm expression, he kept the thunder source in his Kyunkin bag, before he said with a smile, Why do the two of you act in this manner? Fate determines who this treasure belongs to. You should not go against fate. After we kill you, we will be the fated ones. A malicious expression filled Di Teng's eyes and it was different from the serene expression before. Evidently, he no longer suppressed his killing intent towards Lin Dong. Old ghost Lu Kui, let's join forces and kill this tricky bastard. After that, we will decide who gets the thunder source. How about it? Di Tang shouted out. When he heard his words, Lu Kui's eyes glimmered before he gradually nodded his head, All right, this kid is too cunning. If we don't finish him off, my old heart cannot be calm. Swoosh. Before the two of them finished conversing, the blade shadow below Lin Dong's feet flashed as his figure swiftly descended and escaped. You want to escape? Di Tang Duo were both old cunning men. Previously after they were tricked by Lin Dong, they were naturally cautious of him. Hence, once the latter moved, the two of them immediately chased after him like leeches. Ancient Heavenly Scales Halberd Techniques, Fish Scales Halberd Ancient Heavenly Scales Halberd Techniques, Python Scales Halberd. However, just as the two of them swiftly followed behind, Lin Dong's frantic body suddenly stopped. As he swung the ancient halberd in his hand, a giant hideous Yuan Power Fish and an enraged Yuan Power Python, together with a malicious halberd glint, was viciously directed towards the two of them. Heavy Mountain Saber Technique Bone Crushing Blade when they encountered Lin Dong's sudden vicious attack, even De Tang Duo's facial expression changed slightly. As Yuan power gushed forth, they immediately swung the large sabers in their hands. Bang bang! Blade and halberd collided, as an exceedingly powerful force wind immediately erupted forth, causing the surrounding air to be directly blown away and almost creating a vacuum. The combined forces of two initial creation stage practitioner their combined might was truly incredible. Lin Dong's halberd techniques did not survive for a long time, before they were immediately destroyed. Then, blade shadows were directed towards his body as they formed a formidable attacking formation and trapped him. Based on their expression, it seems like the Ditang duo were truly planning to utilize every means to completely trap Lin Dong. As he sensed the icy cold killing intent gushing out from their blades, Lin Dong's eyes slightly darkened. Waving his halberd around, and thanks to his body, which had been enhanced during this period, he was barely able to counter their combined attack. As Lin Dong fought back, that De Teng and Lu Kui's heart was in turmoil. Both of them were at initial creation stage. Hence, if they combined forces, they could swiftly dispatch a creation stage elite practitioner. However, right now, Lin Dong was able to hold them back based on his own strength. His current ability, and furthermore his tender age, caused even the Di Tang duo to be shocked. Immediately, a malicious killing intent swiftly followed. 
they could not allow such a highly talented foe to live. As a killing intent gushed forth, two whistles swiftly followed from De Teng and Lu Kui's lips. Instantly, the two families' troops, who were standing nearby, rushed forth. Based on this situation, evidently they did not want to give Lin Dong any opportunity to escape. Snort! Lin Dong also realized their plans. Immediately, with a cold snort, Great Sun Thunder Yuan was manically activated as faint thunder roars echoed out. At the same time, the skin on his body began to turn bronze-like green, while on his arm, a vein crawled forth just like a dragon. It was filled with a formidable aura. Ancient Heavenly Scales Halberd Technique, Dragon Scales Halberd A resplendent golden glow, just like a volcano, gushed froth from Lin Dong's ancient halberd, as that formidable Yuan power directly turned into a giant dragon and swept forth with an unstoppable aura. Boom boom boom! When he unleashed that attack, the Yuan power surrounding heaven and earth began to vibrate violently. Right now, this all-out dragon scales halberd that Lin Dong executed was several times more powerful, compared to the one when he fought against city lord Shi. Hence, when that dragon appeared, a look of awe surfaced even in De Tang Duo's eyes. With all of Lin Dong's energy, that dragon attack flashed across the horizons before it viciously slammed against De Tang Duo. Instantly, a giant earth-shattering sound echoed out from mid-air before a powerful force wind erupted forth and even caused vibrations in the woodlands below. Bang bang! A golden light poured forth, as the De Tang duo, were directly blown away under the bewildered gazes of their troops, before they landed hideously. Based on their facial expressions, it seems like they both took a severe hit. That kid possessed truly terrifying might. On his own, he was able to counter against two initial form creation stage practitioners. This sight caused the De Teng and Lu family's troops to be stunned. Haha, <laughs> thanks for your gift. I shall gladly accept this thunder source. After he utilized all his strength to blow them back, the bronze color on Lin Dong's skin swiftly dissipated. Promptly, he took the opportunity to escape. Using his full speed, in a blink of an eye, he dashed inside the vast woodlands. Search everywhere. When they saw Lin Dong escape, that De Teng and Lu Kui's face turned steely green. Then, an enraged roar immediately echoed out inside this woodlands. Chapter 209, Refining the Thunder Source The De and Lu family troops burst into the vast forests, immediately causing a disturbance. From time to time, furious roars rang out which was quickly followed by miserable cries. At a certain location deep in the forest, Lin Dong was hidden in the dense underbrush. He did all he could to suppress his presence and breathing, as he occasionally cast a glance at the skies. There, he faintly saw De Teng and Lu Kui furiously searching all over for him. Lin Dong had snatched away the thunder source right in front of their noses. This action undoubtedly drove De Teng and Lu Kui nearly mad in anger. They had planned and prepared for this operation for so long, yet in the end, they ended up with nothing. How could they possibly swallow this down? However, although they were furious, the forests were incomparably vast, and it was not difficult to conceal a person. Hence, even though there were many Di and Lu family troops, discovering Lin Dong was not going to be an easy matter. Lin Dong watched the two figures in the sky as they gradually disappeared from his sight. Though De Teng and Lu Kui were both form creation stage practitioners, they were evidently unable to maintain continuous flight. After all, they were unlike Lin Dong, who possessed powerful mental energy which allowed him to fly on a sword. Thus, this draining aerial search did not last for a long time. This forest has already been locked down by the De and Lu families, hence it would be rather troublesome to exit. Right now, the best plan is to first absorb this thunder source. If I am able to reach the advanced stage of bronze thunder body or advance to the fourth seal symbol master, I will be capable of defeating either one of them. Lin Dong's gaze flickered. Alone, it was undoubtedly too difficult for him to contend against these two initial form creation stage practitioners. However, 
if his bronze thunder body was at the advanced mastery stage or if he rose to the fourth seal symbol master, the difficulty of contending against them would obviously plummet. From what he could see, De Tang and Lu Kui were clearly intent on killing him. If he did not upgrade his strength, it would likely become somewhat dangerous. Furthermore, I have no idea where Little Flame disappeared to. I need to find him first before I look for a secluded place to seal myself off and refine the thunder source. After making this decision in his heart, Lin Dongs looked around, and could not help but helplessly shake his head when he did not find any traces of Little Flame. Fortunately, he had left a mental energy mark on Little Flame's body this time and was able to sense its position. Immediately, his eyes cautiously swept across his surroundings, before his figure transformed into a black line as it swept forth. Lin Dong's figure traveled through the dense forests, and after about ten minutes, his figure finally stopped under a huge tree. He gazed at a narrow space before him, as his face turned stiff. On this empty space, he found little flame covered in wounds, as if it had just experienced an intense battle. Of course, what astonished Lin Dong the most was not little fame's injuries, but the humongous corpse below little flame's paws. This corpse was covered in cracked crystal armor, however, the originally resplendent lightning glow had now completely turned black while silver blood continuously flowed from those sinister wounds. This corpse belonged to the thunder crystal beast which just had its thunder source snatched away. This, was this done by you? Lin Dong was dumbstruck as he stared at this scene. It was a good while before he finally regained his senses and asked Little Flame. Roar! Faced with a dumbstruck Lin Dong, Little Flame let out a low roar, before it positioned its huge butt on the corpse and a pleased look flashed across its eyes. Ha! This stupid tiger turns out to be a little useful. Little Martin also appeared at this moment and said in astonishment. The Thunder Crystal Beast was extremely powerful. Even at its weakest moment, it was able to push the Ditang duo so far. When it had escaped previously, Lin Dong had felt that it was a little unfortunate. After all, every part of this kind of demonic beast was practically a treasure. How could he have anticipated that Little Flame would actually sneakily follow the fleeing Thunder Crystal Beast, and wait for the opportunity to finish it off? However, from the injuries on Little Flame's body, it had clearly paid quite a price in order to kill the beast. After all, there was still a huge difference between the two. Roar! Little Flame once again growled at Lin Dong, before it opened its huge maw and bit the crystal armor on the beast's body to pieces. As its huge tongue swept forth, it completely devoured the thunder crystal beast's flesh and blood. Most of the thunder cryst beast's power is contained within the thunder source, however, its blood and flesh is extremely beneficial to a demonic beast. Furthermore, there were some mutations within this stupid tiger's blood, allowing it to have an extremely strong adaptive ability. This will be extremely beneficial to it. Little Martin clicked its tongue and scoffed. Lin Dong lightly nodded his head. All was fine as long as there were no detrimental effects. For Little Flame, the Thunder Crystal Beast's flesh and blood was extremely enticing. It made quick work of the corpse and it was not long before all that was left of the Thunder Crystal Beast was a pile of bloody bones. The corners of Lin Dong's eyes twitched as he watched, this fellow appetite was too huge. Upon seeing that Little Flame had nibbled clean the Thunder Crystal Beast, Lin Dong was just about tell it to flee together, but he suddenly discovered that there were traces of lightning on its body, and the underneath of its scarlet red fur seemed to be glowing. This is. After seeing this sudden change, Lin Dong's expression changed drastically. Don't worry, it is just refining the power of the Thunder Crystal Beast. Ha, this stupid tiger is truly lucky. This Thunder Crystal Beast had already successfully advanced and although it had yet to recover its strength, the blood and flesh within its body had already been completely strengthened. After being turned to food, the energy within was also absorbed. This time, the stupid tiger's strength may once again be upgraded. Little Martin laughed as it soothingly said. After hearing these words, Lin Dong finally let out a sigh of relief. Just as he was about to speak, 
he suddenly turned around as his eyebrows slightly furrowed while he gazed towards the back. He was faintly able to sense some presences there. Let's go. We need to first find a spot to refine the thunder source. Lin Dong lightly waved his hand, before dashing towards the deeper parts of the forest. Behind him, Little Flame also hastily followed, as its body flickered with the lightning. Man and beast swiftly traveled through the forests. Over this period of time, Lin Dong was already rather familiar with this forest, thus he moved with ease. After a series of seemingly haphazard dashing, they finally found an extremely concealed cave. The cave was located halfway up a mountain and was surrounded by a messy stone forest. Unless one examined carefully, it would be difficult to discover the existence of this cave. After Lin Dong entered the cave, he camouflaged the cave entrance a little, allowing it to be better concealed. After finishing this, Li Dong heavily sighed in relief. After all, he was a weak one-man faction and could not possibly resist two big families. Hence, it was best for him to keep a low profile for the time being. Hum. While Lin Dong sighed, to one side, Little Flame emitted a buzzing sound. Lin Dong hastily looked over, only to find the lightning glow on its body growing brighter and brighter. In the end, it turned into a flickering lightning cocoon, which completely wrapped around its huge body. Lin Dong was a little astonished as he stared at this lightning cocoon. As his hand gently touched the cocoon, he was able to sense the vibrant life force within it. Only then did he let go of the worry in his heart. Like little Martin had said, devouring the thunder crystal beast's flesh and blood was a great opportunity for Little Flame. Little Flame's current strength was comparable to the perfect Yuan Dan stage. If it rose again, Little Flame would equivalent to a form creation stage practitioner. This kind of strength would be an extremely great aid to Lin Dong. Its strength is increasing, I should also start cultivating. Lin Dong softly chuckled as he sat on a boulder nearby. His current situation was somewhat urgent, and although he had hidden himself, given the Di and Lu family's capabilities, they would still find him in the end. At that time, a massive battle would definitely occur. His opponents consisted of two initial form creation stage practitioners, over ten perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners, and quite a number of the other Yuan Dan stage practitioners. With Lin Dong's strength, he could at most stall an initial form creation stage practitioners, and as for the symbol puppet, it was not suitable for a prolonged battle, because Lin Dong could not afford the pure Yuan pill consumption. As for Little Martin, it would also be able to stall a form creation stage practitioner, but even then, there were still so many Yuan Dan stage practitioners to deal with. The power of both sides were on a completely different scale, hence, before they found him, Lin Dong needed to master the bronze thunder body. Or else, the situation would become extremely troublesome. Phew! As this thought flashed across Lin Dong's mind, his expression slowly turned solemn. He grabbed onto the head-sized ball of lightning which once again appeared in his hand. Only when he observed this lightning source from up close, did he finally discover its beauty. From time to time, lightning arced across its surface, seemingly forming many thunderstorms on its exterior. Faintly, one could hear the low rumble of thunder from within. Such a vigorous lightning power. Lin Dong deeply breathed in, as astonishment flashed in his eyes. Such vigorous lightning power. Compared to those he had absorbed in the past, it was several times stronger. Sure enough, this thunder source was the most valuable thing in the thunder crystal beast's body. No wonder Di Teng and Lu Kui wanted to obtain it so desperately. Lin Dong's hands held the thunder source at its top and bottom, as his eyes slowly closed. The great sun thunder body slowly started activating at this moment, as his hands emitted a suction force. Rumble. As Lin Dong utilized his secret art, the thunderstorms within the thunder source suddenly became violent. Liquid lightning which could be seen with the naked eye slowly flowed out from the thunder source, before it flowed along Lin Dong's palms and poured into his body. Bang! The instant the liquid lightning gushed into Lin Dong's body, the clothes on his body exploded to dust in a flash. In fact, 
cracks even formed on the boulder he sat on. Chi Chi! Lightning frantically twisted around Lin Dong's body, as portions of the berserk power endlessly tunneled into his body. Meanwhile, the bronze color of Lin Dong's skin became increasingly richer. Chapter 210, Closed Door Cultivation in the Mountain Cave Boom! A deep thunder-like roar sounded out from Lin Dong's body, and lightning covered his body like a hedgehog's spines. As the lightning power tempered his body, the bronze hue on his skin became increasingly richer. The lightning power contained within the thunder source was extremely vigorous. Thankfully, Lin Dong had absorbed a fair amount of lightning power over this period of time. Hence, he was already somewhat used to this savage force, and his current condition was not considered bad. At the very least, there were no signs of something going wrong. The lightning glow illuminated Lin Dong's solemn face, which appeared exceptionally serious. Of course, the current situation inside his body was not as calm as it seemed on the surface. Vigorous lightning power flooded through his channels, bringing with it a searing heat that caused all of his channels to burn in pain. However, this magnitude of pain was nothing compared to the time when Lin Dong first drew lightning. Therefore, Lin Dong did not pay any heed to it. With a flick of his mind, the great sun thunder Yuan inside his body whizzed out, swiftly mixing and fusing with the vigorous lightning power. Crash crash! As the two parties quickly fused together, Lin Dong could feel the Yuan power inside his body growing at an alarming speed. In a short few minutes, the increase in Yuan power was already comparable to all the gains from the painstaking cultivation he had endured over this period. Its efficiency was truly amazing. The Great Sun Thunder Yuan fused with lightning power now contained traces of tiny electric sparks. This Yuan power, which was several times more powerful than before, flowed through his channels, before they were deposited inside his dantian and completely absorbed by the Yuan Dan within. As this vigorous Yuan power endlessly poured in, his dark golden Yuan Dan began to grow slowly. In fact, electric sparks started to emerge on the Yuan Dan's surface, an extremely peculiar sight. The lightning power within the thunder source is too vigorous. Even the great sun thunder body's refining speed is unable to catch up. However, as more lightning power poured into his body, Lin Dong realized that the rate at which his great sun thunder Yuan fused with lightning power was gradually unable to keep up. Looks like I must first unlock the final channel of the great sun thunder body. As this thought flashed across his mind, the Yuan power pouring into his dantian suddenly changed course, and directly headed for the last channel of the great sun thunder body. Boom! As the extremely vigorous Yuan power charged into that channel, Lin Dong's entire body began to tremble violently. He could faintly feel that this channel, which had previously refused to yield despite all of his efforts, was now beginning to exhibit signs of yielding. When he felt this tiny change, delight surged in Lin Dong's heart. Promptly, he calmed himself down, and urged on that vigorous Yuan power, joining them from head to tail as they continuously and ferociously rushed against the final channel. Bang! 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 Vigorous Yuan power battered against the boulder-like final channel again and again. Lin Dong's body currently had an almost limitless amount of Yuan power, hence, he was not afraid to engage in a battle of attrition with this channel. After all, he was curious to find out, just how long this damned channel could hold on. Golden Yuan power whizzed through Lin Dong's body. Like a tidal wave, Hwala Hwala sounds echoed out, as waves of thick Yuan power continuously collided against that channel. Due to these powerful collisions, Lin Dong's entire body began to tremble uncontrollably. Even though this channel was just like a giant boulder, it could not possibly withstand this assault forever. Hence, after about a dozen waves, a microscopic cracking sound quietly rang out inside Lin Dong's body. Crack! Yet another mindless blow crashed forth. However, this time, the Yuan power was not deflected as the channel's entrance was violently torn apart. Like a tidal wave, vigorous Yuan power immediately rushed in. Seemingly unstoppable as it completely destroyed every obstacle within the channel. Evidently, 
Lin Dong had finally accomplished this most difficult step. The suddenly unblocked channel caused Lin Dong, who was currently in a mindless state of controlling Yuan power, to be taken aback. Moments later, he recovered his senses, as an uncontrollable delight gushed forth from the deepest crevices of his heart. It's finally unlocked. When the final channel was unlocked, an exceedingly comfortable sensation seemed to emerge from the deepest corners of Lin Dong's body. This sensation was akin to an incomplete object finally being given the last piece and made whole. Evidently, the 44 channels of Great Sun Thunder body was finally perfect. Gurgle. The golden luster of the Great Sun Thunder Yuan flowing inside his body suddenly became increasing resplendent. This golden color was extremely dazzling, and faintly gave off an aura of indescribable might and tyrannical power. This was the true Great Sun Thunder Yuan. As he sensed the change in his Great Sun Thunder Yuan, Lin Dong's felt a little moved in his heart. With a flick of his mind, several golden vortices formed inside his body. Within these vortexes, a terrifying suction force exploded forth, as the savage lightning power pouring into his body was directly sucked into these golden vortexes. When the lightning power was sucked into these golden vortexes, it fused with his great sun thunder Yuan at an incredulous rate, before being deposited into the Yuan Dan inside his Danchen. Right now, his absorption and fusion rate, was more than ten times faster than before. As he felt this revolutionary change, Lin Dong almost laughed out in delight. It was no wonder this final channel was so difficult to unlock, it turned out to be the most critical step after all. Once he passed this most important step, the quality of his great son Thunder Yuan was upgraded to the next level. Haha, <laughs> bronze thunder body, form now. A deep shout echoed out inside Lin Dong's heart, as the golden Yuan power gushing inside the vortexes suddenly exploded before they turned into countless golden lights and shot towards every part of his body. CH CH As the golden Yuan power embedded with lightning power exploded forth, Lin Dong's blood, flesh and internal organs etc. seemed to rejoice simultaneously, as they greedily devoured the golden lights that would transform them. As more golden Yuan power exploded forth and was absorbed by Lin Dong's body, several parts inside in his body practically turned resplendently gold. All of his blood, flesh, muscles, and bones were now coated with a thin golden glow. Like a layer of golden silk, it was extremely beautiful. As Lin Dong's body frantically absorbed the Yuan power fused with lightning power, the skin on his body began to turn increasingly green. Eventually, he looked just like a bronze statue quietly sitting down on a boulder. Meanwhile, his breathing began to turn increasingly weak, and even his body temperature began to fall. However, if there was a practitioner proficient in mental energy nearby, he would sense that beneath the green surface, a power was now growing at an alarming rate. When it finally stopped, it would be extremely powerful. The mountain cave was silent. A bronze statue was seated within, together with a squirming lightning cocoon, as they both emitted lightning sparks. Shameful and useless things, it's already been so long and yet you still can't find that kid. On an empty field north of the cave where Lin Dong was hiding, De Teng's face was green, as he angrily roared at the terrified troops before him. Father, could that kid have escaped already? The young man dressed in black clothes asked. Impossible. De Teng answered without hesitation, over these past few days, I and that old fart Lu Kui have personally coomed through this area. Furthermore, we have transferred more troops over and locked down this entire area. It is absolutely impossible for that kid to slip away under our eyes. He must still be inside his woodlands. That young man in black let out a bitter laugh and said, If that is the case, we can only search further in. However, the demonic beasts inside will be increasingly tough to deal with. If we continue such a large-scale manhunt, we will suffer substantial losses. No matter how large the loss, we must find that little bastard. After I capture him, I will break every bone in his body. De Teng's face was incomparably hideous. Evidently, his anger had reached its peak. Family head. When they saw the murderous look on De Teng's face, 
the surrounding people felt a chill in their hearts. Amidst the silence, a figure suddenly quickly approached from a distance. As the words left his mouth, he felt De Teng's cold gaze sweep over, causing cold sweat to emerge on his head. Speak! De Teng icily commanded. When he heard this, that man hurriedly nodded his head. He knew that if he delayed any further, the enraged De Teng would grant him a slap of death. I have just received word from the Lu family. It seems like they have discovered where that kid is hiding. Bang! Just as his words sounded out, De Teng, who was seated on a boulder, abruptly stood up, and shattered the boulder below him with a single slap. A thick killing intent immediately burst out, as his cold words echoed inside everyone's ears. Go and join up with the Lu family. I will personally slaughter that little bastard. After De Teng spoke, his figure turned into a black shadow as he dashed forth. Behind him, the De family's troops hastily followed. Their menacing aura caused several demonic beasts in the woods to fall into panic. <laughs>